Witness the evolution of Nigeria's next mathematicians at their finest on Cowbell Tedia. Thank you to the fans all across the world. Welcome to Cowbellpedia, the number one mathematics TV competition for secondary school students across Nigeria. It's season three. Our contestants are different, which means the experience will be different and unforgettable. Thank you once again for your messages, your texts, your tweets, your retweets, your broadcasts. You have shown so much love to the whole Cowbellpedia team, and we say thank you for that. Thank you as well to the sponsors of the show, Promasador, the makers of Cowbell Our Milk, and our technical partner, Neko. I am Oscar, your quiz master, and I'll be back after this. Instantly dissolving Cowbell Milk is both delicious and nutritious. It promotes good health and vitality. Cowbell Milk has a blend of the important vitamins which we call Vita-Rich. Plus vitamin B9, which helps with brain development. We've also got a deliciously creamy formula that dissolves instantly. Cowbell, deliciously creamy. We had 32,000 applicants in season one. In season three, over 52,000 students from over 10,000 schools took part in the qualifying examinations. This is the first time, by the way, that we've had the examination in every state of the Federation, including the FCT. Now, the best of the best of the best of the best, 108, have made it to this stage, the second stage of the competition, which is Cowbellpedia. They are ready to battle it all out to know who will be crowned the undisputed 2017 mathematical champion of this year. And talking about champions, it's a good time to remember our reigning champions from 2016. Yes, the champions indeed. They've had fun, they've won 1 million naira each, they have their laptops, loads of prizes for their schools. I'm talking about Juliet Okoko in the junior category and Ayolua Oguntade from the senior category, both from that school that basically just tore things up in season two. That's Ambassador's College, Otta. Congratulations once again. Now, keeping to our promise, we said we're going to send them on an educational excursion. Now, as the quiz master, I'm usually very busy, so I didn't go, not because I couldn't go. But let's find out how much fun they had on the excursion. On the 19th of January, 2017, Juliet Ikoko and Ayolua Oguntade Winners of the 2016 Cowboypedia Mathematics TV quiz. Round of applause to our 2016 Cowboypedia champions. <laughs> Left Nigeria for a three day educational excursion to South Africa. As part of the rewards in emerging to 2016 Maths champions, courtesy Cowboy. Along for the ride were also their Maths teachers, Mr. Ianu Oshewa and Mr. Kolawale Bilu and what an experience it was for all of them. The excitement started for the champions right from the Muritala Mohammed International Airport till they got to Cape Town, South Africa. Their first point of call was the Two Oceans Aquarium, popularly known for being located where the Atlantic and Indian Ocean meet. Also, they took a trip to the Meisenberg Beach, considered to be the birthplace of surfing in South Africa. The next day took the Maths Geniuses to the Table Mountain National Park, a breathtaking tourist attraction famous for its mountains and cable way. Of course, a trip to the Table Mountain will not be complete without savouring the beautiful greenery of Camps Bay with its beaches. While they had fun, the champions were also treated to some educative trips. The excursion to the Great Shore Hospital Housing the world-acclaimed Heart of Cape Town Museum was insightful and educative. So, I think it's quite obvious that Chris did not come up with the idea of doing a heart transplant. He didn't come up with the technique either. So this room is dedicated to the research that went ahead of that. The museum got its name as a show of the scientific and medical fit the hospital performed as an institution where the first human heart transplant was performed in 1967 by Dr. Chris Barnard. 
and from the museum, they had a wild wind experience at the mind-blowing Ratanga Junction rides. For both Juliet and Ayolua, the 2016 math champions and their teachers, the educational trip to South Africa is a journey they had taken a lot from and will forever remember. For us at Cowboy, it is our way to thank our 2016 winners of Cowboypedia for being who they are, future inventors. Welcome back. So much fun the guys had. I'm glad they had fun. It's going to happen again this year. Maybe the same destination, maybe a different one. If you've missed out on any episodes of Cowboypedia from season one till date, you have a chance to catch up on YouTube. Head over to our YouTube channel. That's www.youtube.com forward slash Cowbellpedia TV Nigeria. And you can watch all previous episodes till date. But for now, we have our 12 contestants on standby, six in the junior and six in the senior category. They're here to do battle, to let you know what they have, but most importantly, to qualify for the next round. Now, in the competition, we have three major stages, the prelims, the semifinals, and the finals. We have nine prelims, out of which the best two in each prelim will move on to the semifinals. At the end of the three semifinals, the best two will move on to the finals, and at the end of the finals, yes, we will have our undisputed mathematical champion. The first prelim is up today of season three. We have six young contestants from the junior category who are ready to take the first step towards achieving that undisputed bragging right. It's been quite an interesting journey for them. Some of these students scored perfect scores in their qualifying examinations five of them to be precise out of the 108, which means they're very smart kids. Let's meet our first six contestants from the junior category. My name is Ahmad Absamad from Floral College, Kwara State. Great to have you on the show, Ahmad. First time on television? Yes, Chris Master. If you're not solving maths, what are you doing? Playing football. Ah, okay. But you've scored some goals, yeah? Yes, Chris Master. All right, great to have you on the show, Hamad. I wish you all the best. Thanks. Contestant number two. My name is Odebatu Stanley from Oalo Seminary, Onesha, Anambra State. Stanley from Anambra. How was the journey to Lagos? Very good. Who did you come with? I came with my mathematics teacher. Okay, what's your math teacher's name? Obala Uzoshufu. And how long has he been teaching you maths? Since JS2. JS2. Yeah. Are you like his best student? Yeah. Have you gotten 100 over 100 before? Yes. Well, I guess that's why you're here. Welcome, Stanley. Great to have you on the show. Contestant number three. My name is Olali Depre, and I'm from Belarus Schools, Bielsa State. Olali. How old are you? I'm 13, going to 14. You look like a guy that loves video games. In a way. In a way. What do you like more? What do you like? Do you have a favorite game or cartoon character or superhero? I like playing football. So if you're on Hamad's team, you'll be what? A striker? A midfielder. Your favorite club? Chelsea. I Chelsea. wish you all the best, Olali. Thank Great you. to have you on the show. Thank you, Chris Mister. Contestant number four. My name is Alabi Anita from Gloryland Secondary School, Igara, Edo State. Anita, our lovely lady in the house. How are you? Fine, thank you, sir. Are you the only lady in your family? No. Ah, so if anybody was at home watching, who would be in front of the TV now screaming? My dad and mom. Your dad screams? <laughs> your dad and your mom. Yes. What was the one thing they told you when you were coming to this competition? They told me to make them proud. You already made them proud by getting here. Welcome. I wish you all the best. Yes. Contestant number five. My name is Osei Gali Ailuelo here from Mind Builders High School in Lagos State. Ailuelo here. And how old are you? I'm 13. No way. Do you play any particular sport? Football. Football. Ah, I thought you'd be playing rugby. Maybe you're a goalkeeper. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Great to have you back. And our last contestant in the junior category. My name is Pamuiwa Henry from Mude Secondary School, Alabaka Akure, Ondo State. Great to have you on board, Henry. Thank you, sir. All the way from Akure. Yes. Did you grow up in Akure? Yes, sir. What do you do in your spare time, Henry? I like drawing. Oh, that's nice. An artist. Yes. Have you sold any of your drawings before? No. <laughs> All right. Great to have you, Henry. Welcome. 
And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Our first six contestants, the first prelim in the junior category. Just lay down some ground rules. We have two rounds. Round one is 12 objective questions. You have five seconds to give your answer. At the end of round one, I am looking for the three highest scores. That's the three contestants who will make it to round two. Round two is what we like to call the Cowbellpedia 60 Seconds of Fame. It's the most entertaining round on this show. And this is where you get a chance to give me as many correct answers in 60 seconds as possible. At the end of round one and round two, the top two students with the highest scores will move on to the semi-finals. If you do not know the answer to a question in round two, don't forget to just say skip. You have to be as quick and as fast as possible. Do you have any questions? No, no please, master. master. I wish you all the best. Let's move on to round one. Evaluate x raised to the power 3 plus y squared plus z if x is 3, y is 2, and z is 1. A, 36, B, 30, C, 32, D, 31. You have five seconds to give the answer. The correct answer is option C, which is 32. Four correct. Two of you did not put in your answers in time. Time could be your friend or your enemy. You might know the answer, but if you don't put it in, the computer won't know that you know. So Hamad or Lali, make sure you put in your answer in time. You have five seconds. Well done. Make T the subject of the formula M is equal to 2T plus 2B. A, M is equal to 2B minus 2T divided by 2, 2B minus M divided by 2, M minus 2B divided by 2, or D, M plus 2B divided by 2. Five seconds to give me your answer. Ahmad, what was your answer? M minus 2B divided by 2. Option C? Yes, sir. Anita, what about you? Yes, sir. Olali? Well, I guess nobody's going to disagree. Well done. You all got that answer correct. <laughs> Ten more questions. Move on to question number three. Find the LCM of 9, 18, and 36. A, 18, B, 36, C, 9, D, 3. Olali, what does LCM mean? LCM means the lowest common multiple. What was your answer? 36. Anita, what was your answer? <laughs> 36. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, sir. I guess it was easy for each and every one of you. Well done. You all got that correct. Well done. Question number four, evaluate M divided by three plus M divided by two when M is six. A, six, B, five, C, four, and D, three. The correct answer is B5. Well done to each and every one of you. Move on to question number five. <laughs> Simplify 33K JP divided by 11PJ. A, 3K, B, 11JKP, C, 3PKP, and D, 3K squared. The correct answer is A, 3K. The game is still early, it's still anybody's game. Let's move on to question six, we're halfway through. What is the product of the LCM and HCF of three, six, and 12? A, 36, B, 12, C, 24, D, 48. Alue Lohia, are my questions very easy? Yes. Yes, it was. The correct answer is A, 36. Well done. Very close call. Six questions down, six more to go. Instantly dissolving cowbell milk is both delicious and nutritious. It promotes good health and vitality. Cowbell milk has a blend of the important vitamins which we call Vita-Rich, plus vitamin B9, which helps with brain development. We've also got a deliciously creamy formula that dissolves instantly. Bell, deliciously creamy. Let's move on to question number seven. Well done to each and every one of you. You're doing very well. 
Habiba had 150 naira. How much does she need to buy the perfume of 230 naira? A, 90 naira, B, 80 naira, C, 100 naira, and D, 120 naira. Five seconds to put in your answer. The correct answer is B, 80 naira. Well done to all of you. At this junction, speed is something you want to have on your side. If for whatever reason there is a tie, your average response time will determine whether you stay or whether you go home. Let's move on to question number eight. Convert 5, 2 over 6 to an improper fraction. A, 35 over 6, 33 over 6, 30 over 7, 32 over 6. Olali, do you have an idea of what you do with all your money when you get it? No, quiz master, not yet. Not, not yet? Yes. <laughs> what about you, Ahmad? Do you have an idea? Not yet. not yet. Well done. The correct answer is D, 32 over 6. You all got that right. <laughs> Factorize NA minus NB minus ZA plus ZB. A. N minus Z, A minus B, N Z bracket A minus X, C, N B bracket Z minus A and D, N plus Z, A minus B. Three correct answers. Two of you didn't put it in, in time and one person got it incorrect. But not to worry, it's still anybody's game. The correct answer is A bracket N minus Z bracket A minus B. The product of two numbers is 48. Find the other number if one of them is 8. A, 6, B, 4, C, 8, and D, 12. Stanley, I take it maths is your best subject? Yeah. What's the worst subject that you have? The subject that you do not like, you do not want to take, you wish you couldn't take it in school? Basic technology. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a doctor. A doctor? Yeah. So you need to like a little bit of biology and chemistry as well? Yeah. Is there any doctor in your family? No. OK. I guess you're on your way to being the first. Well done. Congratulations to all of you. The correct answer is A, 6. <laughs> Question number 11. What number does CM represent in Roman numerals? A, 1,000, B, 700, C, 500, and D, 900. The correct answer is D, 900. Raise up your hand if you got it wrong. <laughs> you all got it right. Well done. This next question is very crucial. I do not mean to put any pressure on you, but this question might determine who stays and who moves on to round two. You're all very close, very close. Find the range of values of x if 3x minus 2 is greater than 16. A, x is less than 6, x is less than minus 6, x is greater than 6, or x is greater than minus 6. The correct answer is C, X is greater than 6. Ahmad and Stanley, you didn't put in your answer in time. Let's see if that's going to cost you round two or not. And a computer will rearrange, and there we have it. At this junction, ladies and gentlemen, Someone's journey is going to stop, and others will continue to round two. First thing I would like to say, which I've said before, is that the fact that you got this far, you are all champions, you are all winners, and we're very, very proud of you, both Cowboypedia, your parents, and your school. Stanley, you did very well. Ahmad, you also did very well, and of course, Olali, you did very well as well. The good news is that you can come back to this competition and represent your school in the senior category. We have 14 students who took part in season one who are back here to compete. So the journey is not over just yet. But for now, please take 
a step and leave the stage. A round of applause to our contestants. Carbell Choco gives you the get up and go to be at the top of your game. Now with Vitarich Plus Iron. New great tasting Carbell Choco, a creamy chocolatey drink that helps give energy to get up and go. Welcome back. Season 3, the first prelim, junior category, round 2. It's been so far so good, but this next round is a round that sets apart the boys from the men, the women from the girls. It's the Cowboypedia 60 Seconds of Fame. You have 60 seconds to give me as many answers as possible. I'm looking for the most correct answers. At the end of this round, the two students with the highest scores from round one and round two combined will move on to the semi-final. Well done to all three of you, and I'm very, very proud you've gotten this far but the journey is not yet over. If there's a question that you do not know the answer to, just say skip and I'll move on to the next question. Do you understand these rules? Yes, yes Miss Master. Anita, I'm starting with you. I wish you all the best. Your Cowbellpedia 60 seconds of fame starts now. A boy works for hours on Monday, H hours on Tuesday. G plus H. Correct, solve for H if two H minus 50. H. Correct. Find the LCM of 12x and 18x. Skip. What is the value of 5n plus n minus 4n if n is 5? 10. Correct. Solve for p if 6p minus 8 is equal to 10. 3. Correct. When 9 is added to a number, the result is 82. Find the number. 73. Correct. Simplify 4u divided by 3m minus 2v over 3m. 4u minus 2v over 3m. Correct. Solve for y if 7 plus 2y is 12 to 7. 17. Incorrect. Find the greater of two numbers whose sum is 7 and whose product is 12. Skip. Simplify 2a over m minus 3a over m. Minus a over m. Correct. Solve for a if a squared divided by 2 is equal Four. to... 4. Correct. A number is subtracted from minus 9 and the result is 12. What is the number? 21. Incorrect. Simplify 3 over c oh. minus 4 over d. 3d minus 4c over cd. Correct. Well done. Well done, Anita. Well done. Take a deep breath. Henry, your Cowbellpedia 60 seconds of fame starts now. Simplify 5 over x minus 3 over x. 2 over x. Correct. Expand q plus 2, q, q minus Q squared minus 4. Correct. The sum of two numbers is 36. One exceeds the other by 6. What are the numbers? If you don't know, you can say skip. 15 and 21. Correct. Find the value of 5 bracket A plus 2B when A is 4 and B is minus 2. 0. Correct. Expand A plus A B. A squared minus B squared. Correct. Find the minimum integer which satisfies the inequality 2x is greater than 3. Mm. 3 over 2. Incorrect. Factorize 4 plus 4 M squared. 4 into 1 plus M squared. Correct. The product of two numbers is 42 if 1 Six. is 7. Correct. Find the value of mn minus xy when x is 2, y is 4, m is minus 1, and n is minus 3. Minus 11. Incorrect. Simplify m bracket a plus m b. ma plus mb plus 2mc. Correct. Find x is 4 plus 2x is 10. 3. Correct. If 6 is added to a number and the sum divided by 3, the result is 7. Find the number. 15. Correct. Well done. I know I'm the one asking the questions, but I'm sweating as well. 
I really I wish you all the best. Your cowbell 60 seconds of fame starts now. Find the HCF of 8xy plus 32x squared. 8x. Correct. What if y at y plus 4 is equal to 12? 8. Correct. Given that p is equal to 2m, simplify the expression p plus m plus 3p minus m in terms of m. Skip. Find the sum of the first four odd numbers. Skip. Solve for x in 4x divided by 8 is equal to 10. 20. Correct. Simplify h minus 2 Skip. divided by 4 plus... In a leap year, which month has an extra... February. Correct. If a class of 40 students, 10% are girls, how many are boys? Skip. Chica has 40 goats. He sells three... Oh. Incorrect. A box contains five pencils and two biros. How many biros will be found in six boxes? 12. Correct. What is the square root? Correct. If P to Q is equal to 5 to 7, find the value of P plus Q divided by Q minus P. Six. Correct. What is the positive 50. square root? Correct. Well done. I have three scores in front of me. One is 110 points. Another is 105 points. And the third is 100 points. Anita, you scored 105 points. <laughs> the difference between Henry and Ali Olohia is just 10 points. which means one of you's journey ends here. As it hurts me to say this, Henry, your journey does not end here. You scored 110 points. I'm very sorry about this. You did exceptionally well, just 10 points. And we're very proud of you. How do you feel about now? I'm okay. That's the spirit. And there's nothing stopping you from coming back here in the senior category. I wish you all the best. You've been a good sport. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Saigali. Well done. Henry and Anita are first contestants from the junior category to move to the semi-final. We have six senior contestants on standby to do battle, to slug it all out, to show the world that they have what it takes to be crowned the undisputed mathematical champion. For decades, mathematics has been the bedrock of the world's greatest innovations. We believe that we too can set indelible footprints in the sands of technology if we invest in our children and in their future, knowing fully well that from amongst them can come the next best innovators. Tomorrow's Einstein, Maria Mayers, Ayodele Awojobi, Philip Emeagwani. Yes, we have a dream that our children can be great. Since 2001, Cowbell has been on the front line promoting mathematics as a means to empowering young people and nourishing their dreams, harnessing their potential, irrespective of their background or ethnicity. Yes, we believe in our children, in their greatness, in what they can be. Reach for the stars with Nourishing Cowbell. Cowbell. Welcome back. Anita and Henry from the junior category are well on their way to the semi-finals. But we have six contestants from the senior category who will go through the same trials. And at the end of this round, we'll find out which two will be joining them in the semi-finals. For those of you at home, if you've missed out on any episodes of Cowbellpedia, head over to our YouTube channel, that's youtube.com forward slash Cowbellpedia TV Nigeria to catch up on all the excitement. And don't forget to download the Cowbellpedia app from the Google Play Store onto your Android device as well. This gives you an opportunity to practice as many math questions as possible. Let's meet our six contestants 
in the senior category. Contestant number one. My name is Gulok Samo. I'm from Empley's College, Akure, Ondo State. Great to have you on board. Good luck. Thank is this thanks. the first major competition you've been in? Yes, sir. So, um, in Akure, what, what do you do for fun? I play football, I play chess. Ah, that's a game I really want to understand. How long did it take you to learn chess? About, not up to a week. A week? Now you're making me feel very dumb. Good to have you on the show, good luck. Thanks. Welcome. Yes, sir. Contestant number two. My name is Abdullah Nasser from Lake Sao Memorial Progressive Secondary School, Bauchi State. Nasser from Bauchi, great to have you. Is this your first time in Lagos? Yes. Okay. Have you been in Bauchi all your life? Yeah. How is Bauchi? What's the, if I come to Bauchi and you want to take me out, yeah. where would you take me to? What's the favorite hangout place in Bauchi? Toro. Toro? Yes. What's that? Local government. Local government? Yes. What's there? It's there is a um, hotel there. Okay. Is there food? Yes. What's your favorite food? Yam potage. Yam potage? Yeah. Ah, they call that Asharo from where I'm from. <laughs> That's nice. And I'm sure you're a good cook as well, Nasser. Yes. Don't worry, maybe I'll come over. Welcome to the show. Glad to yes. have you. Contestant number three. My name is Obiko Kirian. I'm from Ohalo Seminary on Echa Anambra State. It has seminary school. There are things that you must do early in the morning, right? Yes. So what time do you wake up? 5 a.m. And what do you do as soon as you get up? We take our bath and then go to the chapel from, for prayers and mass. Okay. Are you in charge of anything in school, like a prefect or...? I'm in charge of the dean's office, the academic dean's office. Ah, you must be very brilliant to be in charge of that. What's your favorite subject? Mathematics. Apart from maths? Chemistry. Okay, let's see how good your maths is. Welcome to Cowboypedia. I wish you all the best. Thanks. Contestant number four. My name is Samuel Adekule from Kraju Dimas College, Chagamu, Ogun State. Samuel, you're a very big guy. You're like, what, six, six feet? Yes, how tall are you? Six feet. Wow. I feel so small. What do you do in your spare time? I play games. What kind? Computer games or physical games? Computer, computer games. Good one. Okay. So, who is the person in your house that you know is better than you in playing games? <laughs> Nobody. Okay, I wish you all the best, Samo. Welcome Thank to Cowboypedia. Contestant number five. My name is Chiri Kechibuza Margaret. I'm from Dorothy International Secondary School, Abia State. Great to have you, Margaret. Thank you. Please Let me master. see you smile. How was your journey to Lagos, though? It was fine. Okay. What were you thinking about while you were in the car driving down? Was it the competition, the money? Would you be able to solve the questions? What's that thing? Well, I wanted to see Lagos for the first time. Oh, first time in Lagos? Yes. You came with who? My math teacher. Your math teacher. All right. And what's the one advice that your master teacher has given you that you think this is the best advice I've ever had? To relax. Relax, Margaret. The game is about to begin. Welcome to the show. Thank you. And last but not the least, we have our sixth contestant. My name is Michael Paul from Excel Grace Academy, Boku, Benway States. Michael, are you the first or the last in the family? No. Which one? Second. In the middle? Second. You're a very big guy to be in the senior category. Do people tease you about your size? Sometimes. Uh, what do they say? Some call me a rat, so. <laughs> you are not a rat. What did you score in your qualifying exams? 100. So you are one of the five that got the perfect score. I wish you all the best. I'm sure everybody watching is proud of you. Welcome to Cowbellpedia. Let's give him a round of applause, guys. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen, our six contestants in the senior category. The game is on. Put on your game face. Let's move on to round one. Enjoy yourself and let's get this game going. One of the following is not a perfect square. A, 625, B, 139, C, 400, D, 441. You have five seconds to put in your answer. The correct answer is B139. We're off to a great start. Well done to all of you. 
Question number two. A rectangle of size 3 centimeters and 7 centimeters was measured. 3 centimeters and 8 centimeters. Find the error in area. A. 3 centimeters square. B. 47 centimeters square. 24 centimeters square. And D. 21 centimeters square. The correct answer is A. 3 centimeters square. Better luck next time, Michael. Not to worry. It's still anybody's game. Question number three. Find the angle which an arc subtends to a circumference of a circle if the angle it subtends at the center is 130 degrees. A, 50, B, 180, C, 65, and D, 260 degrees. The correct answer is C, 65 degrees. Good luck. You need to make sure you put in your answer in time. It's still question three. It's anybody's game. Let's move on to question number four. A diagrammatic representation of sets is known as A, Angran diagram, B, graph, C, Venn diagram, D, pie chart. Now, sir, what's your answer? The uh, diagram pie chart. Pie chart. Yes. Do you think that was the correct answer? No. What do you think the correct answer was? Venn diagram. Yes, Venn diagram is the correct answer. That's option C. Not to worry. Let's move on to question number five. Well done to all of you. Which of the following can be used to estimate quartiles and percentile? A, cumulative frequency curve, bar chart, histogram, or D, range? If I said all of you got this wrong, I will be wrong. Well done. <laughs> question number six. We're halfway through the 12 questions. Simplify minus 3p raised to the power 5, all raised to the power 3. A, minus 27p raised to the power 15. B, minus 27p raised to the power 5. C, minus 9p raised to the power 15. And D, 27p raised to the power 15. The correct answer is A, minus 27p raised to the power 15. You all got it right. Well done. Instantly dissolving cowbell milk is both delicious and nutritious. It promotes good health and vitality. Cowbell milk has a blend of the important vitamins which we call Vita-Rich, plus vitamin B9, which helps with brain development. We've also got a deliciously creamy formula that dissolves instantly. Bell, deliciously creamy. Question number seven. If three fifths of a number is 54, what is the number? A, 12, B, 24, 120, or D, 90? Correct answer is D, 90. We had three who got it right, and three who didn't put in their answer in time. Please make sure you punch in the answer just once, okay? Evaluate A plus B divided by B plus A if A is 3 and B is minus 2. A minus 1, B 1 over 5, C 1 and D 2. The correct answer is C 1. Korean, better luck next time, but it's still anybody's game. Given that universal set A, B, C, E, F and A union B, A, B, C, E, F, find the universal set less A union B. Option A, A intersect B complement. Option B, A union B complement. Option C, A. Option D, B. The correct answer is B. Well done. Let's move on to question number 10. Which of the following is not a perfect square? A, 4y squared, B, 8p squared, C, 16x squared, and D, 625p squared. Good luck. What was your answer? 8p squared. Michael, what about you? What was your answer? 8p squared. 8p squared. Well done. 
Question number 11. Find the coefficient of n if 8n squared minus 12n minus 5 plus 4n squared plus 16n minus 9. A, 4, B, 3, C minus 9, and D, 12. The correct answer is A. Well done to all of you. <laughs> question number 12. This is the final question in round one. Wish you all the best. Question number 12. Solve x squared minus 15x is equal to 16. A, x equals to 4 or minus 4. x is minus 1 or minus 16. x is 1 or 16. And D, x is 16 or minus 1. Margaret, have you watched before now? Have you been watching Cowboypedia? Season one, season two? Season two. What was your answer? D. Well, you know what happened, right? You didn't put it in time. The correct answer is D. That's X is 16 or minus one. Michael, well done. You're the only person that got the correct answer and put it in in time. At this point, three of you will move on to round two. Three of you, the journey stops here. These are the scores. The computer will rearrange them with the top three scorers. And there we have it. 55, 55, 50. Unfortunately, good luck, Crayon and Nasser. Your journey ends now. But it does not mean it ends forever just on this competition. You're a young inventor and you have the potential to do anything you set your minds to. And we're very, very proud you got this far and we wish you all the best. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause to them. Instantly dissolving cowbell milk is both delicious and nutritious. It promotes good health and vitality. Cowbell milk has a blend of the important vitamins which we call Vita-Rich, plus vitamin B9, which helps with brain development. We've also got a deliciously creamy formula that dissolves instantly. Cowbell, deliciously creamy. Is the Cowbellpedia 60 seconds of fame? Please give me as many correct answers as you can. If you do not know the answer, just say what? Skip. Well done. Let's move on to round two. Margaret, I wish you all the best. Thank you. Margaret, your Cowbellpedia, 60 seconds of fame starts now. What is the value of x squared plus three x minus two when x is minus one? Minus four. Correct. Find a number which when two is subtracted from, it's the result. 10. Correct. What is the LCM of 4x squared y and 3xy squared? 12x squared y squared. Correct. What is 4 times as big as m? 4m. Correct. The smaller of the roots of the equation x minus 3x plus 2 is 0. Negative 2. Come again? Negative 2. Correct. What is the value of m will make x squared minus 18x plus m a perfect square? 81. Correct. What is the algebraic expression of 5 less by n? 5 minus n. Correct. If x is minus 2, y is minus 3, evaluate x squared minus y squared. Minus 5. Correct. If 7 is added to a number p, the result is greater than 17. Find the value of p. p is greater than 10. Correct. Find the value of y if 3 bracket y plus 1 is... y is 1. Correct. Given that x is 3, y is minus 4, evaluate x squared plus y squared. 25. Correct. What is the value of t if 2 over t is equal to 8 over 9? 9 over 16. Incorrect. Well done, Margaret, and very good response time. Michael, I wish you all the best. Your Cowbellpedia 60 seconds of fame starts now. If P varies inversely as Q, find the connection between P and Q. P is equal to Q over Q. Correct. For so sum of five and a certain number is minus five, find the number. Minus 10. Correct. Solve the equation 2D Skip. plus seven. What is the shortest distance between any a two? A straight line. Correct. What is the top part of a cone? It's cut off. The remaining part is called Fashion. A. Correct. Solve the equation 1 over n plus Skip. 2. Tally measures one of the lengths of a rectangular octagon to be 1.5 meters. Find the perimeter of the octagon. 
12 meters. Correct. The volume of a cube whose length is 4 centimeters is? 64 centimeters cube. Correct. If x is 6, y is 8, what is 3x minus 2y divided by 2? 1. Correct. Evaluate the cube root of 7 raised to the power 6. 1 over 49. Incorrect. Express 0 0.00546 to two significant figures. 0 0.00055. Correct. If 4 raised to the power m is equal to 1 over 64, find the value of m. Minus 3. Correct. What is the reciprocal of 2, 3 over 5? 5 over 13. Correct. Well done. I don't think you're a rat or you're a big lion. The way you came out, those questions, well done. Well done, Michael. Samuel, your Cowboypedia 60 seconds of fame starts now. Evaluate the square root of 9 raised to the power 3. Um, Come again. 27. Correct. What is the place value of 100? Hundreds, hundreds. Correct. The locus of a dog tethered to a pole with a rope of 6 meters is a circle. With Circles with radius 6 meters. Correct. What is the simple interest Steep. paper? Express 0 0.00000. 0 3.64 times 10 raised to power 6. Incorrect. Minus 6. Incorrect. What is the area of the trapezium ABCD with parallel size 8 centimeters, 10 centimeters, and height? Sorry? 81. 81 what? Meter square. Incorrect. What is the reciprocal of the five fraction? 5 3. Correct. Evaluate 2a squared times 4a. 8a raised to power 5. Correct. Calculate the number of days from January to March in a leap year. Skip. Find the value of 8 raised to the power 1 over 2. 2. Correct. Simplify log x plus a minus... Log a x over y. Incorrect. If p is equal to 3, 7, 11, 13 and q... Mt. Correct. Well done. <laughs> you were saying something, Samuel. You are nodding your head. Why? What happened? I feel I was too slow. You felt you were too slow. Let's find out if your being slow will cost you a spot in the semi-final. Michael, well done to you. Margaret, well done to you as well. The person going home today has 90 points. Michael, that person is not you. You have 105 points, well done. Margaret, do you think you are fast enough? Yes. Faster than Samuel? Yes. You're absolutely sure? Yes. Samuel, you scored 90 points. You are right. Being slow did cost you, which means that Margaret is with 110 points with some of the fastest reflexes and times we've had so far. But Samuel, I'd like to tell you this, you fought hard, you fought well. And I wish you all the best. Very proud you got this far. So Samuel, what's the first thing you're going to do when you get back? Sleep. Who will be at the door waiting for you? My mom. What do you think she's going to tell you when she sees you? Don't cry, you tried. Don't cry, you did try. Well done, Samuel. Thank you very much. Round of applause to Samuel. <laughs> Margaret, the look you give me sometimes, I feel like maybe you missed all the questions. But you did very well. 110 points. Look at me, Michael. Do you think you could have done better? Yes. What do you think slowed you down? The first question I failed in the first round. Um, Not to worry. You have enough time to practice. You made it to the semi-final. And Margaret and Michael will be joining Anita and Henry. Don't forget you can catch up on all the episodes of Cowbellpedia on our YouTube channel. That's youtube.com forward slash Cowbellpedia TV Nigeria. So far, so good. The first prelim is out of the way. We have eight more to go. I'm looking for the best two in each of the nine prelims to make it to the three semi-final stage. It's been fun, it's been a laugh, it's been a mixture of the good, the bad, and the ugly. But our contestants did absolutely fantastic. Join me same time next week, right here on Cowboypedia, as we take on another 12 and begin their journey towards finding out who will be crowned the undisputed heavyweight champion 
2017. I am Oscar, your quiz master. Thanks again to Promacidol, the makers of Carbala Milk, and Neko, who have endorsed this program. Bye for now.